thanks for coming, and without further ado, we might um, welcome the Minister. Thank you, Mary, and uh, it's my pleasure to be here. I apologise it took so, much, so long to come here, but in the past few months we have some changes in government, and um, I finished with a different lot of portfolios from what I had before. But it is my pleasure to be here today because I want to hear all sides of the argument. Uh, I know that people that are pro-mining, people anti-mining, people that are pro-uranium, people anti-uranium. I'm not here as pro-uranium or anti-uranium. I'm here as a minister, appointed position, and unfortunately, unfortunately, it would be up to me to put the signature rejecting the mine or approving the mine. Um, Starting from the very beginning, the, for mineral exploration or for exploration, there are only two types of exploration in the territory. One is generic for minerals and the other is generic for oil and gas. When people apply for exploration, they do not specify what mineral they look for. And we've got cases where people apply for exploration in an area and uh, looking for gold, and they discover rare earths, or discover phosphate rock, or discover uranium. However, from exploration to mining, there's a very long process. And I'm saying that clearly to you, and I've said that to Cameco, and I said that to every company, the fact that you actually found something does not guarantee you're going to get uh, approval to mine. In particular with uranium, there are too many problems. One of the problems is, if you discover a radioactive material anywhere in Australia, you have to notify the federal minister. If you discover something like that in the territory, you have to notify the federal minister. If you decide that you want to mine it, it is not an application to the Northern Territory government. An application is put to me and I have to forward the federal minister. The federal minister is one who makes a decision for a uranium mine to open or not to open. And under the existing legislation that we drafted 20 years ago, if the federal minister says he gives his approval to open a uranium mine in the territory, I cannot reject it, I cannot oppose it, and I cannot say we can't do it. By law, we're obliged to approve it. If the federal minister says, no, you will not open a mine in the territory, I cannot say, well, I want to open it and I'll open it. I can't. By law, I have to oppose it. The final say for the opening of a uranium mine in the territory rests clearly with the minister of the Commonwealth, not with the territory minister. As I said to you before, from exploration to mining it can take some time, from two years to ten years. And once again, the fact that somebody found something in a place does not guarantee they're going to get the approval. Uh, to give you an example, we consider a lot of issues, not only the environmental issues, but impact on the environment, impact on the community, and social issues. And as a matter of fact, some of these issues we, uh, we found out in a couple of mines, and we recommended the federal minister not to approve it. One was the Newcrest mine, uranium mine in South Alligator. We opposed it on environmental grounds. And the other one we made clear to the federal minister that the Northern Territory government will oppose the opening of the Kungara uranium mine. The reason for that is environmental issues and social issues. So once again, I repeat it, the fact that somebody found something in the territory does not mean they are going to get an approval for a new mine. So if Cameco finds tomorrow uh, a, uh, something in Pamela and Angela, and they put application for us to approve it, that application will be referred to the Minister of the Commonwealth, it has to be a long drawn process and there's no guarantee, and I repeat again, I know Cameco is here and they know that very well, there's no guarantee they're going to take the tick of a vote. They have to go through a long process to satisfy a lot of requirements before the federal minister makes his mind. I said to you before, I'm here to listen to you. I'll take your issues into consideration. I will advise, if there's an application for money, I will advise of your opinion, the federal minister, and as I said to you before, by law, he's the one who makes the final decision. I know you have provided a lot of questions to me. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions. If I don't know the question because they're technical, I've got a tip from the department here that would be very happy to respond and take the questions. Thank you.